To use the abandoned cart feature, go to Automation and click Create a new workflow. Give your workflow a name and click E-commerce Automation. Now, if you don't see this tab, it's probably because you haven't turned on one of the e-commerce integrations that work with MailerLite. Currently, that is WooCommerce and Shopify. So follow one of those videos for that. And once you turn that on, you should see this tab right over here and you will be able to use these triggers that are here. Now for the abandoned cart feature, just use abandoned checkout here. And we advise you to use this workflow only after two hours after your visitor has abandoned his or her cart and two hours have gone by. Once you're done with this, click save. And here we go. Here you can create an email. Let's give the email a name. The email content is here. And you can start from scratch. Or if you're using a paid plan, you can use one of our templates. For these e-commerce templates, I'd suggest you use the e-commerce series. And here you have some abandoned cart templates. But you can also start from scratch. Just click the new drag and drop editor. And here is the universal template. I'll just get rid of this. Let's just add a logo here and go to all blocks and choose e-commerce integration. Now go to the bottom. Here is the abandoned cart block and just put it somewhere in your email. Now, after two hours go by, your shoppers will get this email with the products from their cart, just as a reminder. And you have some settings here. You can change the appearance. You can have a list instead of having the products from left to right. Other settings like image size, the position, the, the amount of products, the maximum amount of products have a description here. And you can change the button text right over here. That is the text that is on this button. Of course, you have different settings for the background, color, etc., etc. Okay, once you're done with this abandoned cart email, let's go back. Actually, I don't like this background. Let's leave it white. Let's click Done Editing. And here we go. You can start working even if it's loading. There we go. It loaded. And after this, you can start adding other things like a delay. Let's do two days delay. And then let's add another condition. Actually, this is the first condition, right? Let's select it based on workflow activity. That means the activity in this workflow. And we only have one email. Let's use the abandoned cart email. If someone did not, if it was not opened, Let's save it. So if it was not opened, people will get another email. And let's de design the email. And I'm just going to use a template to make it a bit faster. Let's do 20% off. You edit your email here, give any promotional codes, and click Done Editing. So if it wasn't open, they'll get this email. And of course, you can add more things like another delay, another two days delay. And then you can add the email with the abandoned cart again. Design email and go to recent emails and just go to automations here and use that abandoned cart email again. Click done editing. And there we go. Here's the email abandoned cart. And of course, you can keep building this out. And if they have opened the email, so if it was negative, was not opened, negative, so they opened the email, then of course, you can build out other things here. Once you're done, of course, you need to turn on your abandoned cart workflow here. And you can view the workflow activity right over here. Now, this is going to be zero, zero because I just built this out. But once your shoppers start abandoning their cart and getting this workflow, you will start seeing their emails filling up here. And of course, you need to have their emails before they actually start shopping. They need to be in the MailerLite system. Otherwise, there's no way of them getting any emails from MailerLite. That should be very obvious, right? 
All right, so once people completed, you'll see the subscriber, the order, the recovery status, status, if it was recovered or not, the workflow status, what step your subscriber is on, and the date and time. Then we'll see the queue here, all the people that are waiting to make a decision, and the ones that canceled are here. If for some reasons the conditions weren't met, you'll see the subscribers here, the reason, the step they were on, and the date and the time and the subscriber, of course. Now you can see the article in the description for more information on this and, and to see how this actually works with pre-filled data. And there's also the e-commerce tab here that will just give you an easy glimpse to see how much revenue you had gained thanks to this workflow, the conversion, the orders, and you'll start seeing the orders right over here. And here is a bird's eye view of everything. Here's the workflow overview, the monthly workflow stats are here, and all the emails in your workflow. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching this video, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Hey, thanks for watching the video. Please click subscribe, use the little bell icon. You can also catch us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course, use the little subscribe link in the description to sign up to our newsletter. Thanks again and see you in the next video.